हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज मिलने थॉमसन मेथड एंड एन एग्जाम्पल ऑन इट फर्स्ट वी सी वॉट डज दिस मेथड एक्चुअली डू दिस मेथड हेल्प अस इन फाइंडिंग एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस आई वी इफ इट्स रियल पार्ट दैट इज यू और इमेजनरी पार्ट वी इज गिवन टू अस Now let us see the idea behind it. Assume you wanted to find analytic function f of z is equal to u plus iv whenever its real part u is given to you. Then first of all, we'll find out its derivative that is f dash of z in terms of the real part of f of u. Then we find its integration to get f of z. Let us recall the derivative of f of z. If f of z is equal to u plus i v is an analytic function, then its derivative can be given by any one of the following expressions. Since f of z is u plus i v, its derivative with respect to x will be given by f dash of z is equal to u x plus i v x. Similarly, its derivative with respect to y can be given by f dash of z is equal to u y plus i v y. But if you want to find f dash of z in terms of only u, then you have to use cauchy riemann equations cauchy riemann equation states that ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx so wherever ux is there you can replace it by vy to turn this f dash z only in terms of v similarly you can replace vx by minus uy to turn it in terms of u in this way similarly you can substitute these relations in this derivative of f of z to get these expressions now we see steps involved in finding analytic function f of z is equal to u plus iv whenever its real part u is given to us the first step is find partial derivative of u with respect to x and y then in next step we let phi1 of x comma y is ux and phi2 of x comma y is equal to uy then we put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 in these expressions and we find what is phi1 of z comma 0 and what is phi2 of z comma 0 then we write derivative of f of z in terms of ux and uy so here we choose f dash of z is equal to ux minus i uy then we replace ux by phi1 of z comma 0 and uy by phi2 of z comma 0 so we get f dash of z is equal to phi1 z comma 0 minus i into phi2 of z comma 0 finally we take integration of this f dash of z with respect to z to find f of z now let us see an example on this question is to find an analytic function whose real part is u is equal to e raised to x into x cos y minus y sin y as the first step suggest we'll find out partial derivative of u with respect to x keeping y term constants so here u is product of two x terms first term is say e raised to x second term is this bracket so we will use product rule of derivative u into v rule so derivative of u that is e raised to x is e raised to x keeping v as it is plus next time keeping u as it is taking derivative of v with respect to x derivative of x is 1 cos y as it is minus y sin y derivative is 0 because there is no x in it so entire term is constant next we find uy that is partial derivative of u with respect to y keeping x terms constant so e raised to x this time is constant then derivative of x cos y with respect to y would be x into minus sin y minus derivative of y into sin y will be 1 into sin y minus y into cos y next we let 
phi 1 x comma y is equal to ux and phi 2 x comma y is equal to ui. Next we put x is equal to z and y is equal to z0 in phi 1 and phi 2. So phi 1 z comma 0 becomes e raised to z into z cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So it is just z minus 0 into sin 0 that is 0 plus e raised to z into cos 0. That is just e raised to z because cos 0 is 1. So phi 1 z comma 0 is z e raised to z plus e raised to z and phi 2 z comma 0 would be e raised to z into minus x sin 0 sin 0 is 0 minus sin 0 that is again 0 minus 0 into cos 0 that is 0 again. So this ui entirely becomes 0. Now we choose f dash of z is equal to ux minus iui. And we'll put values of phi 1 z comma 0 and phi 2 of z comma 0 over here and here in this way. Next, we will take integration of both the sides with respect to z. Integration of z into e raised to z would be z e raised to z minus e raised to z. And integration of e raised to z is e raised to z only plus integration constant c. I hope you understood how to find an analytic function f of z is equal to u plus iv whenever its real part is given to us. On the similar lines you can find the analytic function when its imaginary part is given to you. In that case you need to choose expression for f dash of z in terms of vx and vy. Rest of the steps follows similarly. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.